so as you can tell, I finally I got that haircut I've been meaning to. I decided to trim my beard a bit as well. So with that in mind, before I I end up going away from Royal Day, I thought I would give you something mean, that I mean you do, which is you know, with Furiosa this weekend. I thought I would give you like another her. Their post-apocalyptic like, adaptation that starts with an F. F, and despite my initial skepticism, I actually found it quite entertaining. So here are my first few thoughts on the Prime Video adaptation of the hit video game series Fallout. Now, this is another one they've been trying to get made for a while, hell, and that being the case, I think the show does actually a great job of Hitting the material, obviously, I never went in expecting like, a direct adaptation of three or four even New Vegas as one of my favorite installments, but I knew based on how vast the canon is and how much of an edge would actually be able to incorporate it into the show, oh, oh, in the case, they managed to quite and do quite the entertaining job of making out our merits with a, a very strong post-apocalyptic sci-fi drama series and how the creators of Westworld were involved with it but also managed to make it 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 definitely an adaptation that kept the spirit in the material well if not necessarily the letter or and that's the whole whole thing when you're adapting a video game or an entire franchise in this case is where, where it's not really the same theme playbook as like adapting like a a book or another TV show. Oh, and to be fair, the characters they chose to follow in regards to the the vault citizens. If I'm being characteristically honest, are no different than any of the ones I've run into in the on again often times by Fallout 76, which and I also noticed that the success of this show has not only only a cause Amazon to waste no time in realizing second season, and but has actually caused a surge in players as of the back hollow games well. I May mean, expect it for 76 three, four, and New Vegas, but even like the original ones on PC, like the first couple ones, can't keep up with demand. I mean, part of it I can chalk up to like, well, it's Bethesda, come on. But I also will actually be a part of that uh, to, it's kind of incredible how even the earlier ones, which don't necessarily have the same amount of quality of life features and I just can't keep up with the demand, and given how things were advanced and and my life alone, they could theoretically run on a toaster right now. Oh, and no, I can definitely verify that my old desktop out by my router cannot run Crisis either. If you'll pardon the old name there. Values mm -hmm. quite strong on as, as you expect from a company who has enough money to. Arrival, Vault Tech, or even West Tech, I mean, I mean, I especially I like how they vendored a lot of the, all the creatures, or let's just say like the scene of the Red Bear is wild, wild, and also the powered armor, or I'm actually surprised how I found a way to make it work practically. Yeah, I think they did similar thing to how like the Mark One. Suit in the Iron Man films, was where there's some digital stuff fighting the assists, but but I can only imagine how much much the actors, at least the body doubles, had to maneuver through those costumes. And casting and acting are quite strong across the board. With my personal favorites being Walton Goggins as the Ghoul, who's an actor who doesn't necessarily get lead roles most of the time, but but uh, he definitely has this aura about him that stands out no matter what I see him in, and also a time when he's playing Cooper. I mean, 
I'm not going to spoil things outright, right, but let's just say, hey, that they did a good job of capturing his particular brand of both menace and surprising in amount, unlike how, let's just say he's not really big on on how the NCR and other factions are running things, and since the bombs fell. By the way, one thing I will say, probably the best nuke dropping scene I've seen since T2. No joke there. I will say that with everything going on, if you're looking for someone to who gets really deep into the debate about how things from the source tale should and shouldn't be represented, and I'm not your guy. I do appreciate the show who oh, made the shitty heady he sands instant canon. However, her I'm more of a guy that likes to look up seeing all the enemy factions represented by I I SpongeBob Futurama especially, so with that in mind, I am very glad that that's these they managed to successfully make a prestige adaptation out of these these games, and though Todd has denied the rumors of you know, scrolls showing similar vein, I will simply say we'll see about that. And in regards to how I feel about it, if you'll forgive me from borrowing another thing from Todd, that all of it just works. Yeah. Anyway, that'll be all for now. And I will I'll get back to Paper Mario as well as recording other stuff that'll come out when I'm gone. So, take care, everyone. Hmm.